you can see there, that has just mattified and smoothed my skin completely. Hi guys, so how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now this one, as the title suggests, is all about how to fake perfect skin. This is more about how to minimize shine, how to cover up any little spots or shaving, nicks, and some of my favorite products to do that. Now, I've split this into various categories. I'm gonna start with the simplest, so you can really take as much or as little of this as you want. Firstly, I'm really looking at moisturizers. For me, I really go for a mattifying moisturizer, really something which is slightly lighter and less creamy. In terms of the sort of best budget, I like the Men Expert, L'Oreal Men Expert. I think they do a really good one. Uh, this is literally about five pounds. At the other end, this is slightly more expensive. This one is by Corez, and this is their anti-shine. Um, so again, my skin has been cleansed. I'm just gonna take like the tiniest bit of this. This is slightly yellow, um, but it is not yellow in your skin, I promise. I'm just gonna get it right in. It really is a little helper in that you can go out all day all night and it's just gonna help to minimize that shine but keep your skin hydrated. And that really probably is the easiest thing that you can do to help yourself. A product I absolutely love is the Tom Ford Bronzing Gel. Now this is literally just gonna add a little bit more um, color, a little bit more depth to your skin and give you a healthy looking glow. You can use this by itself. If you smile, you'll see your cheekbones there. And if you just get that right onto your cheeks, and then blend. You're just gonna give yourself a little bit of a sun-kissed look onto those cheekbones, smile it up, you can see, or just onto the, right onto the tip of your nose and across your forehead. Or another thing you can do with this is a bit of your moisturizer onto your hand, bit of the bronzing gel, add it in, and then mix. And this is foolproof. So it means if you are worried about, am I gonna look tangled? Is this gonna go absolutely awful? It's not, you're using that moisturizer just to enable it to take that bronzing and then just put it in as usual. Always get it down onto your neck and onto your ears. That is a telltale sign if you're gonna have sort of like tide marks, but I've never had that trouble with this product. You might have seen stuff uh, called CC creams or BB creams. The CC cream is gonna to help to color correct. So really, it's gonna even out that skin tone and brighten it. Two here that I really like. There's one by a brand called Four Men, so they have created it for us guys, or this Kiehl's. This one by Kiehl's has got an SPF, yes, SPF 50. This is shade two, probably just a little too dark for me. Just going straight on. You can see it's just picking the color up slightly from my skin. It's not heavy, hectic makeup. You're not going into drag. I salute you if you do drag, you're very talented. But this is just gonna be undetectable. You can see there, half my skin has been color corrected with the Kiehl's product, and then this is me as I was. Just slightly more color, be careful with the eyebrows, don't get it caked in, just give it a good old mix. Then the For Men one, this is light. There, so we've got Kiehl's on this side, and we've got the For Men product. This is super easy to use. Again, it's not gonna be looking like makeup, there's nothing on at all. Now there are products out there called primers. You might have heard of a primer. A primer does exactly what it sounds like. It preps and primes the skin. It's gonna to help to minimize your pores and allow you to go on and use any other product. So if you are a guy that likes to wear foundation or powders, then it's gonna help that powder take to the skin. But you can just use these by themselves and these are a great way, again, to like flatten the skin, minimize the look of pores, and just give you a really sort of healthy matte look. So, this is coming off. There are some really great primers out there. There's some ones that are for men. There are other ones which are female makeup. A product is really genderless like this, so do not worry about what it says. Lab Series, one of my absolute favorite brands. This is called Power Pore Anti-Shine and Pore Treatment. Um, really, it is, a primer. It's just a different sort of name for us guys, but it looks very similar. You've still got this silkiness uh, to it, silkiness to it, and it goes on so easy. I absolutely love primer products, and I think, you know, they're not expensive. Some of these ones actually are quite expensive, but I'll find some cheaper ones. But they do, they go on so easy. They sit 
and they just give you that instant boost. You can see there onto my nose, onto my forehead. I mean, you might not be able to see, but it is, uh, it's just giving me this more matte effect. And if you want to take it up a notch and get you what I would say is camera ready, there are two fantastic products. Lab Series had this one, which came out last year. This is Instant, instant Filter Moisturizer. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a moisturizer that almost filters stuff straight away. It smooths the skin. It keeps it looking matte. There's absolutely no shine. And I love this. This, in terms of their marketing, was really targeting um, sort of teenagers and that sort of like selfie culture, which I think they kind of missed. But this is an amazing product. And I think, especially if you are a slightly younger guy, you've got slightly shiny skin, or if you're an older guy who's conscious of lines and bumps and bits that you just want to get rid of, you can see there, that has just mattified and smoothed my skin completely. This is a real hero product for me. I absolutely love it. And another sort of very similar one, which I absolutely love, is this one by Menergy. This is called Liquid Shine Eliminator. And actually, I recommended this to my friend Greg. Hi, Greg, how are you? He got married last year and I said, for pictures uh, at your wedding, you want to look your best. You don't want to be caked in makeup but you also don't want to have a shine. You know, you, it's a sort of nervous day, you've got loads going on. This is an absolute babing product. You'll see it comes out very similar to that, um, that instant filter product by Lab Series. But this, I remember when I first tried this, I was like, holy hell, it has literally erased my features. It is so good and it pictures so well. You've got no shine, you've got absolutely no lumps or bumps. If you are a guy who is taking pictures or you've got a wedding, you've got an event, you've got a job interview and you just want to feel good, this is a strong one for that, as is the Lab Series. Don't be scared of concealer products. Concealer products are really to conceal, to hide areas that we feel maybe that we don't want to be seen. It's not about caking your face in it, it's about picking key moments of the skin to cover. You can see me here, I am uh, patchy on the neck, I also get it under, under my eyes, you know, there's a slight sort of purpleness, like sort of a slight green sort of tone uh, to my skin. I've got spots up here. I mean, I could be going on for ages. If you're happy, then go for it. Quite often, you know, I'll just stick a moisturizer on if I'm just at home, but if I'm filming with you guys, I wanna look my best. So, these products here, this one has got uh, green, it's got purple, and it's got this more sort of nudie, orangey color, whereas this one's got green. Now, if you think of a color chart, a color wheel, the colors that are opposite that tend to cancel each, cancel each other out. So uh, redness of the skin, you use a green to combat that. If you've got sort of like purpley eye bags, sort of darkness, then you can use something more like an orange to pick that up. And then the purple is against any sort of yellow sort of tones that you might have in your skin. Like for me here, I've got some slight sort of green under my eyes. So what I'm gonna do, this one again is by Becca, this one is by For Men. Um, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna show you actually, even if I don't need to do this, I'm gonna take a bit of that purple just onto my finger. Pop that there. I mean, I've just gone far too much there, but you can see that it is starting to combat those colors. And with your moisturizer and any other products you want to use, you can see it's picked my skin up just ever so slightly. And again, you're not gonna see it. So that's the sort of purpley one into that. So this little concealer here is by Tom Ford. We know Tom Ford is not cheap. So if you wanna splash the cash, you've got it. This is a great little one. It looks good, pop it in your bag. But this, it's almost like a little pencil. You can see there. And what you can do with this is just use this onto that spot, dab, dab, dab tap. This is great, but sort of hero for me is Menergy. But they have got six different shades of a concealer. Anything from light, which I quite often use, being the palest of pale from Scotland, all the way up to olive and dark. So if you are a guy with dark skin, there is something for you. In the sort of women's space, you know, if, if you know of Rihanna and Fenty Beauty, she's been sort of heralded for having all these different options for women of different colors. And we have this for men, not nearly on the same scale, but there are options out there. I'm gonna go into the medium here and I'm, what I'm gonna do is, onto my cheeks here, I'm gonna take a bit there, whack it on my neck, 
just to take away those spots, erasing them, because I don't want that. It's a, you know, you shouldn't have to wear a roll neck if you've got a spot. You can just cover them up. If you do take it up on the cheeks, just ever so slightly darker than your natural skin tone, you're actually gonna sort of contour in without going too heavy on the contour, but you're just gonna give the illusion of having caught a little bit of sun onto the cheeks, onto the bridge of the nose, and up onto the forehead. Um, but again, you can see, you know, the spots are still there, but they've just taken some of the heat and some of the redness off it. And again, you can use maybe some of the green products or you can use one of these camel sticks. Again, finally, looking at powders. Now, there are really two types of powder here. One is a blotting powder and one is a colored powder. Now, a blotting powder is clear and it's gonna take off the shine. It's literally gonna blot off that shine and that is not gonna be visible. So there's a, one by Daniel Sandler, who is a makeup artist, and there's also, again, for men, have got their own one here. So just pop that on, normally get a little sponge or applicator with it, and just tap. You can see there, there's a slight whiteness to it, but it's just gonna take off some of that shine. This is gonna work for all different skin types and shades too. You can see there, instantly, uh, more matte on the skin, so you can mix these all up. Or, if you want to um, blot to mattify and also add a little bit of color, then Menergy, again, have got some amazing powders. I have been using this product since I was 18, so uh, I am 31, so 18, that's 12 years, 13 years? Yeah, 13 years, and I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use. Again, just gives me, I'm a real sweaty guy. There we go, a little confession for you. I'm exercising, I'm constantly sweating, sitting under these lights, chatting to you guys, I'm sweating. I'm just shiny, I'm greasy, I'm oily. So I can use you know, certain products for oily, greasy skin, but just the final step for me, just having this powder is just that instant sort of boost and the confidence step. And it really is, that easy. I don't look caked in makeup. I've just worked on some of the things that I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about in terms of my skin. You know, taking off some of the shine, working with the color correcting, um, the concealers, and then the powder finally. So, you know, really experiment and see what works for you, your skin type, your sort of needs, and the stuff that you feel comfortable and confident with. And also, if there's any other products that you've tried and you personally love, do comment down below. I'd love to see what you're using and I'm sure other guys that are watching this video would like to know too. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog, it's there. Uh, and my social stuff are all up there in the info tab. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.